Welcome to Hot Take. Today is Tuesday, October 16th, 2018. My name is Andrew Meyer, and joining me today is Donovan Jessica. How are you doing today, man? What's up, Andrew? How are things? It's a good old Tuesday during phone apocalypse where another myriad of devices have been announced. Uh, this time, and we're getting new phones from Huawei. Phone apocalypse, I love it. Phone apocalypse, yeah, I saw that on Twitter, and I've been, I like it. I like it uh, so much that I've been using it whenever I can. <laughs> so Huawei held an event today. I think it was in London, and they showed off four new smartphones, all catered to different markets, along with a brand new smartwatch, which was kind of interesting because of something that it's missing. Uh, but leading us off, we'll start with the flagships. The Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro were announced. Uh, the Mate 20 has a 6.53 inch LCD, while the 20 Pro has a 6.39 inch curved OLED display. Both are powered by Huawei's own Kirin 980 chipset with either four gigabytes or six gigabytes and 20 gigs of storage. But the main attraction are those triple camera setups that we saw leaked ever oh so much over the last few months. Oh man, triple cameras, watch out. Triple cameras, man. The uh, the Mate 20 has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and an eight megapixel two time 2X telephoto zoom lens. Uh, meanwhile, the Mate 20 Pro vastly is updated and upgraded with a 40 megapixel wide angle, 20 megapixel ultra wide angle, an 8 megapixel 3x telephoto. Ooh, that is quite the improvement. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're really, really ripping it here. Apparently, so. Uh, the on the battery side of things, we got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in the Mate 20, and it's bumped up to 4,200 milliamp hours for the Mate 20 Pro. But the real story comes in the price tag. Oh man, I hesitate to ask. Okay, I'm prepared. Then, Tell me. Are you sure? Uh, no, I'm not, but d- just hit me. I'm already sitting down, so. <laughs> okay. The Mate 20 starts at 1055 for the 4 Oof. gigabyte model, bumps up to 1120, oh. around 1120 for the 6 gigabyte model, and then the Mate 20 Pro comes in at a whopping $1,384. They had to tack on that four dollars. Really, they couldn't just do like thirteen eighty. It's on. conversion, man. It's conversion. Not I converted conversion it. Rates. Ugh. Yeah, it's ten fifty euro. Two hundred. Uh, One thousand fifty euros. So that is that is brutal, man. They look good though. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. I mean, it's got great yeah. great specs. I mean, that that six gigs of RAM is kind of questionable. I would have liked it to like to see eighty, but. Good storage, good cameras. That that Carrier 980 is looking pretty impressive. Um, a smaller screen on the Pro is kind of kind of surprising to me. Does that surprise you? Um, kind of and kind of not. Like the Mate 20 Pro is what they want in a smartphone. Mm-hmm. The Mate 20 is just like, hey, we got to make a, a cheaper smartphone, so <laughs> we're going to use a, a cheaper cheaper d- display in it. You know, that's why it has the LCD versus the OLED. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it's weird though. It seems like if you're if you're making a device that has the same like root name, you know, the Mate Twenty, that you'd have a like either the same body or a similar body, and then just change some of the internal components. But having a different size phone or a different different size screen means you probably have a different different body as well, which does not seem cost effective to me. Well, isn't it similar to what Google did with the Pixel Three? That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. It's basically. The same I mean, it's a, it's a, it's the same body with a different, you know, the Pixel Three XL has that dreaded notch, while the the Pixel Two XL Mini has the has the two to one aspect ratio display the way that I want it. Gotcha. But, all right, moving forward. That's not all that was announced today. We have the Huawei Mate Porsche design or Porsche design, however you wanna however you wanna say it. It's got the same specs as the Mate 20 Pro in terms of the camera, the processor, and the battery, but it's got a silky smooth leather back. Oh, man. Bumps up to 8 gigs of RAM, which is what the Mate 20 Pro probably should have been at. And the storage gets bumped up to either 256 gigs or 512 gigs. Now, are you really sitting down for this one? I, I am, and you know, judging by the fact that that Porsche is in the name, I'm going to guess that it's 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 more expensive. 
Yeah, sixteen hundred and ninety five euros, which translate to about twenty two hundred dollars. That is for leather, huh? Wow. For the, the leather in that two fifty six gigs, man. That that better be like that better be like virgin lamb leather or something, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want five hundred and twelve gigs, you're gonna be showing out almost three thousand dollars at oh twenty seven hundred and sixty two dollars. That is ins- just just insane. I, I mean, am I seeing this right? They added an AMOLED screen instead of the, an OLED screen also? Uh, that might be the same. I think they're actually the, it's the same display. Oh, that might be a uh, <clears throat> fire the editor kind of situation. Oh man, how dare you! <laughs> how dare I? <laughs> Almost a grand more for a little bit more storage and a leather back, though. That is just and two gigs of extra RAM, man. That that is that is RAM. that is worthy of the Porsche name. Let me tell you. Yeah, I I, I like what they do with that. But I feel like they just make it just to make it. Yeah. They make five it for people, people that have Porsches. It. Yeah. So, yeah, like five people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How right you are, sir. Indeed. So, the last big smartphone, emphasis on big smartphone announced today, was the Huawei Mate 20X. 7.2 inch OLED display. Uh, you said phone, right? Not tablet? Yep. Nope. Not replacement nintendo switch even though huawei wanted to draw comparisons Hmm. it is a 7.2 inch display with the water drop notch that we actually i actually like oh yeah it looks great uh six gigs of ram 128 gigs of storage kira 980 a huge 5000 milliamp hour battery which is absolutely incredible love it dual front facing speak or dual speakers uh stylus compatibility and they're including a game pad that attaches to the left side which also has an analog stick and a D-pad for those uh, those gamers out there. Is it included or is it additional? I think it's additional. Okay. If it was included, that'd be awesome because that'd be a that'd be a great value for that actually. Especially because it costs almost twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, throw that gamepad in there, and then we can talk. Yeah, like a stylus and a gamepad included. But if those are both additional things, that's a that's a non-starter for me. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a non-starter regardless unless you feel like having it imported or they work something out with Amazon. Yeah. I'm not even sure a 7.2-inch screen would fit in my pocket, though. Hey, man, if you wear those, like, dad cargo shorts, you'd be fine. <laughs> I do not, first of all. I wear I wear jeans like a normal person. <laughs> Wait, you don't <laughs> wear jorts, do you? No, I certainly do not wear jorts. Jorts are the devil. Okay. As long as... As long as you're not, you know, like secretly trying to be John Cena over there, then we'll be okay. You can't see me. Yeah. I'll let you <laughs> this is an audio only podcast. I know. It, j- it just makes sense. It's a little too on the nose, though. A little too much. Yeah. All right. And the last product announced today was the Huawei Watch GT. Uh, it's got a 1.39 inch OLED display, uh, GPS and heart rating, heart rate monitoring. They're claiming up to 14 days of regular battery life, which could be bumped up to 30 days if you use like the basic mode and basically turn everything else off, like the GPS and the heart rate stuff. There's no uh, way that's right, right? 14 days of battery I life on a smartwatch? Double, double checked it and triple checked it because I didn't believe it. But everywhere that I checked, that's what it says. Uh, of course, it's the whole quote unquote up to 30 days of battery life, but that's still an insane claim. Part of the reason why is because they're not using Qualcomm Snapdragon anything. They're using right. an in-house processor, and they're using their own wearable OS called Light OS, which means that this will not be the true successor to the Huawei Watch or Huawei Watch 2. Well, true successor to the Huawei Watch that I've been begging for since the original one came out. Haven't we all? So, for everything that I was reading, it seems like it's going to be like a smartwatch version of the Huawei Fit, um, like a full-fledged smartwatch instead of like a Huawei watch successor. Well, I mean, if it's not supporting Wear OS, then that means it's not supporting all the Wear OS apps, which means, it, is it? can you really say it's a smartwatch? No. I mean, not really, right? It's just like a glorified fitness tracker. Yeah. It's a fitness tracker for people who want... A smartwatch, like a smartwatch form factor on their wrist or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a fitness tracker for people that want to spend money like it's a smartwatch. Yeah, because it's so 
Well, I love the segues that you forgive me. Thanks, man. I try. Is priced at uh, 199 pounds or about 260 bucks for the sport model, and 249 pounds or about 328 dollars for the classic model. That's brutal, man. For us, for a glorified fitness tracker, yes. It makes me sad. It's, it's yeah. I read something interesting that Huawei's tired of having to wait for new Qualcomm chipsets to be compatible and be released and stuff, which is why they just said screw it and took the Samsung route and is going with their own in-house OS, own in-house processor, and they're. I think it's kind of like, hey, we're gonna do this and see how it works, and then go from there. That's so weird to me because I mean the that's that new Snapdragon, uh, Snapdragon, um, the Wear thirty one hundred. Yeah, that one. That, that one's been out for a while now, or at least available for a while now, and it's uh, I think no it's one's like, using it. There's like one one watch of that using it. And it's like a grand. Yeah, the Mont the Mont Blanc like <laughs> Summit or something like that. <laughs> it's like a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> if you want the latest and greatest Snapdragon Wear processor, shell out a grand. Oh man, it's just like phones. Yeah, but it, it, they're smart watches. <laughs> like, admittedly, you know, I, everybody should know this by now. Like, I'm an iOS user primarily, and I have an Apple Watch, and that's part of why I'm an iOS user primarily. But I would not shell out more than what I paid for my Apple Watch. Yeah, I think I think three hundred dollars for a smart watch is about at my limit, unless you start unless you're starting to talk about like, you know. Uh, precious metal watch bands and bodies and stuff like that for but for a basic smartwatch it's like 300 bucks is the top top end right and i i think i i think my my uh, apple watch was like 400 but it has like all the bells and bells and whistles apple's going to support it for at least the next two or three years like i'm going to be set with this for a while unless the nerd in me wants to go buy the new apple watch with the bigger display that's probably going to happen and we both know that <sighs> <clears throat> probably but probably i mean you so, are you are a nerd that writes and talks about technology for a living so i would i would assume it's going to happen yeah yeah uh when when the wallet says it's okay and when i say the wallet i mean the missus yep 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 <laughs> so i'm picking up what you're putting down yeah i hope i, I hope all the guys out there are <laughs> man wally just like when they do it they do it Four new four, four new smartphones and a, and a new wearable. I really feel like the Mate Twenty or the Mate Twenty Pro could have been eliminated and just gone with the twenty, like the Twenty Pro and the Twenty X, because the the like the Mate just the the Mate Twenty by itself it seems really. I don't think anybody's gonna look at that and be like, yeah, oh yeah, I want that. Yeah, when you can spend, if you've got enough money to shell out a grand for a phone. You've got enough money to shell out thirteen hundred dollars for a phone, right? And the three hundred dollar difference to have the top of the line Mate Twenty makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense if you're comparing like the base model Mate Twenty to the Pixel Three, which is what did we say? It was eight hundred dollars <laughs> for the four gigabyte one twenty eight. A lot cheaper. Model. Yeah, yeah. But no, I I definitely agree. Porsche the Porsche design one Porsche design one is is just for fun. The Mate Twenty X is obviously trying to fire in with that Asus. Um, I'm blanking on the name. Is it the Mog or whatever? Is that the one? Yeah, like yeah. their new gaming phone and the Razer Phone Two that got announced last week. Mm -hmm. That's that's an obvious like tip to that to that market. I think the Twenty X is the device I'm most interested in out of out of all these announcements. But I'm I'm a gamer, so that that probably makes sense. Yeah. I mean that thing is pretty baller. It's it's so weird. Seven point two inches. I mean, like, are we on a phone. around a, a a fanny pack for this thing or something? Uh, dude, if you could pull off a fanny pack with George, just like the Rock did back in the day, <laughs> I will worship you forever. That is a man's man right there. As long as you have the black turtle, the black turtleneck with the long sleeves, <laughs> and the gold uh, chains, right? You gotta have the gold chains. Yep, gold chains, man. The high and tight with the shaved sides, absolutely. There you go. It sounds like uh, <laughs> sounds like we've recreated Donovan's ensemble. <laughs> His daily attire. <laughs> but yeah, Huawei's killing it. We'll see how these uh, how these phones pan out. Um, obviously, pay attention. Keep your eyes on 
Android guys for more content. Uh, but that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for joining us. If you like what you heard today, please consider subscribing to us on Google Play Music, iTunes, Pocket Cast, or wherever you can find podcasts. Please also be sure to head over to AndroidGuys.com and click on the link for this podcast. Not only do we post the sources for all of our stories, but you can also find out more information on our sponsor, Blue Microphones. If you like how we sound, you should head over to the post for this podcast to get a 20% discount code. We absolutely love our Blue Microphones. We are not alone. Blue is an award-winning company and the driving force behind professional musicians, internet creators, and countless elite gaming teams and Twitch streamers. Their Blue Yeti USB mic is the internet's most popular microphone. For Donovan, I'm Andrew. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.